Hello everyone. In today's video, we will see about the selection sorting technique. There are different types of sorting techniques and one of the sorting technique is selection sorting. So before watching the code of selection sorting, we'll see and we will understand how does selection sorting work. So the in the process of selection sorting, we look for the smallest value. See, if we are sorting the data into ascending order, then we will look for smallest value. Or if we want to sort the data in descending order, then we will look for the greatest value. So we will see today an example of ascending order. Uh, so for that, first of all, we will look for the smallest element and then it will be uh, shifted to the first position and they, uh, it will repeat it until the entire uh, array is sorted. So see what we does. There is an unsorted list and in the first iteration, the smallest value is found and it is compared and it is shifted. Same process repeated in the second iteration, the next smallest value is found and the third iteration, the remain from the remaining, we are finding the smallest value. And in the fourth iteration, we are finding there is no swapping because it is already sm uh, smallest. So this thing is repeat. Basically, we have to look for the smallest value in ascending order and that has to be swapped uh, that has to be shifted uh, towards the first position next time it will be uh, to the second position third position and so on okay so we are going to have a program here based on selection sorting so uh, this program is uh, about uh, asking user to give 10 names so we will create an array of uh, string type uh, where we will accept 10 names from user and we will display those names in alphabetical order from A to Z that is what ascending order so let's begin our program the very first line of the program is import java.util.scanner then after we will create the class I have given class name as select then after we will create the main function public static void main after the creation of main function we will begin the scope of the main function and uh, inside the main function we will create the object of a scanner class so that we can take input from user this is not a new thing for us in every program we repeat the same process so scanner object name i have given ob new scanner system dot in after the creation of object we will create the array we will create an array of size 10 of string type because we have to store 10 names from user so i'll write here string array name I'm giving here str then subscript and uh, new string and the size I'm giving here 10 so we will accept 10 names from user uh, now we are going to give the message to the user so one message will be displayed here that enter 10 names using the println method of system class system.out.println enter 10 names to accept these 10 names we need to run a loop so we will run a loop from 0 to length one lesser than the length because the array indexing begins from zero so we'll simply run a for loop here for uh, the variable the counter variable i is equal to zero initiated from zero and uh, i should be lesser than str dot length means the loop will run uh, one lesser than the length and then uh, we will increase the value of i by one i plus plus and here we will write the statement of input so str i equal to ob dot next we are storing a single uh, word here only the first name of the user we are accepting we can go with next line also now we got the input from user now it's time to write the main code of sorting as we have discussed earlier that in this uh, in the beginning of this video we discussed that uh, if we have to do ascending order sorting then we have to look for the smallest value and if we are doing descending order then we have to look for the maximum value so what we are doing basic basically here uh, we are writing the loop the outer loop which will run int i equal to 0 i should be lesser than str dot length minus 1 so we are running the loop uh, up to the uh, second last element from the beginning to the second last element this is the outer loop what happens here uh, in the inner loop we will look for the smallest value we will look for the smallest name okay so for that uh, we will run the loop which will the j will begin from i plus one 
okay and it will go up to the lesser than the length see i have written here int min equal to i we are assuming the first value means the current value of i as the smallest value okay and now what we are doing here we are comparing because it's not a normal number uh, it's a string so we have to use compare to method we have to use compare to method for uh, the comparison of two strings two words so we will simply do what we'll write here str i dot compare to str min if it is if the value of str it should not be i uh, it should be j here so it should be what str j dot compare to str min okay so if j is uh, lesser than the min then what should happen in the min the va current value of j should be stored okay we are looking for minimum we have assumed first one as uh, the current value of i as minimum but if we get lesser than that okay then that should be stored in minimum so till when the inner loop executes uh, we will get the minimum among the uh, elements every time the elements will be reduced and from the remaining elements we will find the minimum uh, as the inner loop gets over we have to do what we have to shift that minimum value minimum value means the the smallest string alphabetically which is the smallest string that will be shifted for shifting or swapping we will use here the the process of swapping we ha i have declared a temporary string variable where i have stored min and in the min i have stored the current value of stri and in stri temp is stored and now the outer loop is closed so this is what uh, selection sorting so we did this and uh, now i want after the i want to display the sorted data so we'll simply write here a message sorted names okay so we have written sorted names and then after uh, to display the names again we need to use the loop so we'll simply just uh, i'll just copy and paste a few lines from here where we can simply copy first and two lines and we can paste it here so to display the sorted data we will write for int i equal to zero i should be lesser than str dot length i plus plus okay and then after the printing statement i am not using any curly braces because uh, this loop contains single statements so it can be there so system dot out dot println and what to be displayed stri to be displayed okay stri means the current value of i whatever the name comes on the current index of i that will be displayed okay and uh, then after what we have to do after displaying we'll close the curly braces means the main function will be closed and then the class will be closed it's time for compilation let's click on compile button class compile no syntax error right click void main and now uh, enter 10 names so uh, i'm going to enter 10 randomly any 10 names i will enter okay so i have written here some names i have written chandan zoya rohan okay so in this way we will write some un unsorted names uh, we will enter and at the end what we find that uh, our data will be sorted by using the selection sorting and you will see the output that your uh, names will be displayed in uh, alphabetical order so already i have written few names sumit neeraj deepak and you can see that our names are sorted so these are 